sleuths a breather from dissecting every lyric on the tortured poets department. That's because days after the release of her 11th studio album, the pop superstar is teaming with Amazon Music to give some explanation behind some of the album's most popular tracks. Users on the platform can switch on a special audio feature that has Taylor explaining the meaning behind five songs, starting with Fortnite, her collab with Post Malone. Taylor says Fortnite is a song that exhibits a lot of the common themes that run throughout this album, one of which being fatalism, longing, pining away, lost dreams. It's a very fatalistic album in that there are lots of very dramatic lines about life or death. I love Taylor adds, these are very hyperbolic, dramatic things to say. It's that kind of album. Next up, Tay says of her track, My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys, that the sentiment stems from the way, quote, a lot of us are in relationships, where we are so valued by a person in the beginning, and then all of a sudden they break us or they devalue us in their mind. Though obviously Taylor doesn't specify who the song is about, many have speculated that some of the songs on the album are about her exes Maddie Healy and Joe Alwyn. Heartbreak was top of mind for the singer on her collab Florida with Florence and the Machine, which Taylor says was partly inspired by the true crime show Dateline. The singer says people have these crimes that they commit, where do they immediately skip town and go to? They go to Florida. Adding, when you go through a heartbreak, there's a part of you that thinks, I want a new name, I want a new life, I don't want anyone to know where I've been or know me at all. Fame is another big theme on the album, as Taylor explains to Amazon Music. And while the track Clara Bow is named after the 1920s film star, the Grammy winner says the song is really all about life in the public eye explaining what do we do to our writers and our artists and our creatives. We put them through hell. We watch what they create, then we judge it. We love to watch artists in pain, often to the point where I think sometimes as a society we provoke that pain and we just watch what happens.